it is super windy it is actually starting to sprinkle but i'm out here getting my walk in since the weather is getting nicer i said i wanted to get up and walk outside every day three miles walking is good for your soul and there's just so many good benefits with walking so this is a good form of exercise and a way for me to move my body and get outside and help clear my mind as well Okay, I am back home. My walk was really good. I did 3.3 miles, yay. Um, I have an appointment I have to be at at 1.30, so I need to get in the shower and get myself ready and dress for that so I could head over to my appointment. But I felt good. I got a nice walk in. This was day three of me getting outside and doing the walks. The first day I did two miles, yesterday I did three, and today I did 3.3. So I'm gonna get in the shower. These are currently my favorite products that I'm using as far as body care. And then that is the shampoo and conditioner that I love, I swear by that. And this Bikini Zone Shave Gel is a game changer. Ever since I switched to that, I noticed I have no hair bumps. I use that on every part of my body that I shave with. So this is my favorite face cream that I've been using. It's just the L'Oreal. It's like nine bucks at Walmart. You can even sometimes find it at Marshall's, but I buy it at Walmart. It's under $10 and it is fragrance free, which is what I prefer. It just has the collagen in it. And then my other favorite one that I was using was also L'Oreal, but it was the Wrinkle Experts and it has collagen. This is a day cream. I had this Walmart version of it. I didn't care for it. It's way too thick and I didn't like the smell. So I still have some in there, but it's not a fave but it's an alternative, but these are both under $10. And then my other go-to uh, face cream, whenever I'm having breakouts, this is what I will use, and within a couple of days, my face will clear up. It's by Shea Moisture, it's the African Black Soap Moisturizing uh, Balance Moisturizer. This stuff is amazing, you guys. You can get this from Amazon uh, for under $10 as well. You can get it in a two-pack or a small little bottle like this, but I love this stuff. And then this is a deodorant I have been using that I really love. It has 0% aluminum in it. It's just by the Dove. If you cannot get the hint, I love Shea Moisture and Coconut, but they have different uh, scents as well, but I love Dove. It doesn't leave any marks on my clothes and I don't feel like I'm musty. I tried a couple other aluminum free deodorants and I just felt like throughout the day I would start kind of getting sweaty and I would have to reapply. But with this, once I put it on, I'm good. Like this stuff really lasts. I know a lot of people do um, a million steps for skincare, but me, it's very simple. Ever since I was like 12, I've always used some type of face cream. And usually it's just that I wash my face and I apply cream. I'm not doing all these other steps. Especially if you, you know, are more in the lower budget, low income family or person, you don't have the money to have like a 20 step skincare routine. I think for being 33, my skin is still in pretty good shape. So this is what I use that has worked for me. I have used L'Oreal for like the last three or four years before that. I used to be a good old Pons girl. <laughs> and then before that, uh, my aunt used to really be big into Avon and I used to use a lot of Avon's face cream, but L'Oreal is my favorite. It's budget friendly and it works really, really good. And it doesn't break the bank and it's super simple. I don't have to spend 15 minutes doing my face care routine. Now body care wise for my skin, what I've been using um, is this 
retinol advanced firming cream this stuff you guys is a freaking game changer on your skin you can get this on amazon i will have everything linked down below for you guys but amazon has this and this really really helps with cellulite wrinkles firm in your skin i apply this all over my whole body as soon as i get out of the shower i put it on my hands my legs my arms my butt my stomach everywhere and then i'm a good old vaseline well this is the walmart brand of it but i put this all over my feet and like my hands and my lips so if those areas are feeling really dry as soon as i get you can see i'm almost out of this as soon as i get out of the shower I immediately apply this to my feet just to lock in that moisture because I do have extremely dry skin, especially during the winter. But this is a staple that I've used ever since I probably was born <laughs> and I'm going to continue to do so. But I use this mostly for my feet, my lips, and I have, um, I don't really, I don't put this one on my lips. This one's mostly for my body, but I get the little uh, Vaseline lip balms. That's what I apply on my lips. This I use just for my uh, my body just my hands my feet but this stuff run get this when I say almost all the cellulite in my butt in my thighs is almost gone not only just from you know working out obviously but this stuff has helped tremendously with firming my skin I even apply this on my neck I get all down my neck sometimes I even put it on my face but you can put this all over your body and it is fragrance free which is awesome and I do have Bath and Body Works. I don't really use this stuff. This is what I use immediately after I get out of the shower. If I'm going somewhere, I might, you know, apply some Smell Good Lotion. But this is my everyday wear. Favorite cream. Run and get this. Okay, it's 1 o'clock. I'm dressed. This is what I'm wearing. It's a little chilly outside, so I just have a sweatshirt on and some jeans. My hair, I didn't wash it since I didn't have time, so I just literally brushed it, re-put it up. You guys know this is like my signature go-to look when I'm in a hurry, but I'm cozy, I'm comfy. Off to this appointment. So this is the Vaseline lip balm that I was talking about um, that I use on my lips. I love this stuff especially during winter. I mean, we're in spring now, but when I say <laughs> I hate dry lips, I I will do anything not to have dry lips. That's why I like lip gloss and lip balm, just because I like my lips to feel moisturized and so they don't crack. <laughs> but this is my favorite stuff I've been using. Before this, before this even came out, I used to be a huge Carmex girl. Who, who else used to use Carmex for their lips? And I used to not do like the lip balm. I used to get the one in the cap. Oh, just the smell of it. Oh, so much nostalgia. I'm just like thinking of the memories of back when I was in high school, walking around. I didn't have a car in high school. I didn't get a car until I was 18. Yeah, I was 18 when I bought my own car. I was working at Kroger grocery store, saved up some money and my mom was living in Wisconsin at the time. And she found me a car in Wisconsin and I actually went up there with my older brother. He drove me up there and I got my first car when I was 18 going on 19. I didn't have, wasn't fortunate enough to have a car in high school, but I got one when I turned 18 and got my own first big girl job. Just thinking about Carmex in high school and just how fast life goes, it's unreal. It is so true. After you graduate high school, it's like life, it just goes by in a blink of an eye. So after this appointment, I should hopefully make it back just in time for the boys to get off the bus. It is about 60 degrees here, super gloomy. Like I said earlier on my walk, it did sprinkle on me a little bit, but I don't think it's supposed to rain the rest of the day. It's just super gloomy and no sun out. Uh, so once the boys get home, I I need to clean up the kitchen. Tank cleaned up his room last night. Lakin cleaned up his room. So their rooms are all clean upstairs. The only thing that I have to do is get the kitchen cleaned up. Just a couple dishes that need to go in the dishwasher and basic wipe down counters, you know, day to day stuff that I have to do every single day, never fails. But that's really all that I have going on today. I don't have anything else really exciting. I just have this appointment. 
to go to and then get back home and just kind of do my typical mom duty thing. So I'm at Walmart, I had to come and grab something really quick and then we're gonna head home. I have a gift card that I wanna use so I'm gonna find me some press on nails real quick and some nail glue. And then I needed to get something, um, some protein shakes. So cute. So I'm gonna need to choose from now. Remember back in the day, it was like one set. But I think I'm gonna get this color. This is what I used for my nails. I've done it for years. It's gonna keep those bad boys on there. I also need to get more sandwich bags and snack bags for the boys for their lunches. So I'm gonna go grab that. And I think that's all I need to get. I did grab a card though, because my sister-in-law, her birthday is Sunday. So I found a card for her. So I'm super proud of myself. I only spent $42 in there, but I had a $25 gift card. So I used that and then I used the rest in cash. I've been using my cash envelopes. I'm doing really good. That $40, um, I had $40 for groceries. I just now used uh, like 20 something of it. So that's really good because it's been in the envelope for over a week now. So super good, doing good with the cash envelopes. The biggest issue I will say is remembering to use those because I'm so used to just using my debit card, but a win, I used it today and all is good. So we are gonna head home, get everything unloaded. And I wasn't gonna make it home in time. So their dad actually went to the house and got them off the bus. So we're gonna go home, we, me, you, you guys. <laughs> We're gonna go home and get all this stuff unloaded. I got my nails, so I'm gonna do those. I got my protein shakes. I'm gonna show you guys the ones that I found that I really, really love. They're so good. It tastes like drinking Fruity Pebble cereal. They're delish. So I got me a box of those. Uh, and then um, snack bags, some apple juices for Lakin because he's been wanting a lunch lately. So I got him some bottled apple juices to take his lunch and then a couple other little things. These are the protein shakes that I was talking about. These are so good. They have them at Walmart. That's where I was able to find them. They sell them individual or you can get them in a four pack, which actually comes out cheaper. You save two bucks because otherwise they're $2 per bottle. Um, and this pack is only six. So good. I wish they were a little bit lower in the carbs. They come out to be only six gram carbs, but uh, they have 20 grams of protein. So that's really good. These are delish though. Really, really like these. <laughs> and I will say I like them cold. So I put these in the fridge. They're really good. Even Tank has drunk it and he said, mm, mom, it tastes like cereal. <laughs> so that says something if Tank likes something. And then I just grabbed some more little uh, cutie oranges and then some more apples. The boys have been liking these in their lunches. So I'm taking the opportunity to keep pushing it on them since they're wanting it. So I grabbed two, a bag of each of those and then I just got some more chips for their lunches. My nails, of course. Nail glue, Lakin's apple juice. We needed some more um, jelly for their lunches. And then I got some snack size bags and then along with some gallon size bags. Is this a gallon? Okay, yeah, I almost was like, wait a minute. And then I got this for myself because yeah, I don't even have to say. <laughs> and then some cough drops. It's like and asked me to get some. His throat's been kind of scratchy. And that was all I got. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do my nails while the kids are not here so we can get them done and get it out of the way. My little at-home manicure. My friend actually tried out, what is it, Dash and Diva. They have like a at-home gel nail kit or something. It's like strips, but she said they work really, really good. So that's on my list to try it out. I asked her to let me know how they hold up because 
I will switch to that. I think the kit, like the starter kit, comes with the, the little um, UV lamp thingy or whatever. It's like 13 bucks and it comes with, there was two colors I saw at Walmart, pink and I wanna say white, but I'm gonna do these for now. And then that's on my list to get. You guys know I'm not really spending money. I'm trying to be on a no spend this month. If it wasn't for that gift card, I wouldn't even have these right now, but I got the gift card because you guys know I use the fetch rewards and I built my points up and I cashed it in for a Visa gift card and you could do virtual or you can get a physical card though that they will actually mail to you. So shout out to fetch rewards. If you guys do not use that app, download it. I'll link it down below for you guys. You scan your receipts, every receipt that you get, you can get bonus points for some things. They'll have like different items like food, laundry, soap, different things. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to just be grocery stores. You scan every receipt that you get everywhere. I do it so much so that if I don't ask for a receipt when we go somewhere, mom's like, uh, mom. <laughs> like it's like, mom, you didn't get a receipt because he knows I scan my receipts to get points because I've cashed in uh, and got, you can get different gift cards. So I've gotten him like a Roblox gift card before. So he's all on it, like mom, scan those receipts, girl. <laughs> so download that app, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's free, you get, points you cash the points in for gift cards you're pretty much getting your money back so why not i bought is another good one that i use as well so um i will have both of those linked below i think i always i already do but i'll double check i know i bought i do have links i'm not sure if i always link fetch but i've used i bought for like five six years Fetch, I've started using in the last year thanks to my cousin she actually put me onto the fetch app because she was always acting like a crazy person, you got any receipts? Then give me a receipt, give me that receipt. And I was like, why do you need receipts? So then she told me what it was for. I said, oh, now I'm the crazy receipt lady. <laughs> so I'm gonna open these up. Um, this one that I get, it says no glue, but you guys, it's just little like sticky things on the back of the nails. That That's not gonna last, it's gonna come right off. So I don't even use that. That's why I still put glue, like it's already, You'll see, I don't know if the camera's gonna focus, but there's these little clear things, you peel it off and it already has a stickiness. Now that's perfect, you know, if you just need them on for like a day, a night out or whatever, and you wanna take the nails off, but I want them to last on me. That's why I still apply glue. I noticed the glue with these nails that has a little sticky adhesive on the back, it holds it longer versus if I do like um, the press-ons that doesn't have it. So I love this Impress brand. This is probably one of my favorite press-on brands to get like at the store. I think you saw it was like seven bucks for these. And I get the short style. I prefer short nails. You guys know I had the longer nails when I got my nails done for like my birthday and when I went to Nashville. That was like a once a year thing. I never get my nails done. The only thing I really do go get is a pedicure. But typically I don't go to the nail salon and get my nails done. It's just not my thing, never has been. If I want my nails, done or some color. I always just get the press on. Short always is better for me because I can still type. I can still do everything that I need to do. These come with the little prep pad. So you have your little filer that you can take off. And then it has um, this little pad here for you to clean off your nails. And then you got your little cuticle pusher so you can push your cuticles back. So I'm just gonna prep my nails, get them all wiped off. Lucy. I swear she's so nosy. Wipe those off so I have a clean nail to work with. And then some people, they file their nails. So if you get, take that off, this kind of helps it. So your nail's not smooth and it will help the, the nail stick to your nail bed a little bit better. So I just go through and do that too. push all my cuticles back just like that. my nail bed so I'm gonna go through find all the sizing that fits perfect this color it's like a fuchsia pink 
this is pretty super pretty so that's number zero let me find that all picked out go ahead and get these applied i'm gonna open my glue and i know you guys are probably thinking like gorilla glue amber really i promise you guys your nails will come off it's not gonna like stay on permanently but i noticed that this works a thousand times better than actual nail glue and i like the gel kind that's the one i do just because it's not as messy you know super glue other glue can get super messy i need to cut off the tip but i noticed the gel it comes out you know perfect it's not getting all over i'm not having super glue all over my hands sticking to anything around me so i prefer the gel style So my nails are done. This is what they look like. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my filer, which I think I wrapped up. Put the mess. Oh crap. Anyways, I just need a little bit because there's that little thing at the top I wanna file down. Just, I noticed all press-ons had that at the tip. $7 manicure. Can't beat that. Then I got leftovers. I always keep these. I have another box somewhere of ones because if you ever want to mix and match or if one pops off, you can replace it. And just put them back in here and then put them back in the box. And I always just put that back in there. And we are all done. Manicure done. Okay, so my nails are all done. I'm gonna go head over to get the boys. It is 4.30 now. I took my watch off the charger, I'm looking. Uh, so I'm gonna head, go pick them up. And then when we come back home, figure out dinner, what they want to eat, we're going to probably do um, Chicago. I'm not sure what we're going to make for dinner. I'm probably going to just do something simple and quick and easy. But I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here just because I know when I get home, we'll probably just do other stuff and I don't plan to like cook dinner on this vlog or anything like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog hanging out with me for the day. 
Again, remember I'll link all of the skincare and body care products that I showed in the video. So if you're interested, I will have all the links for those items linked down below. And then also download that Fetch app. It's free, scan your receipts, get cash back so you can get gift cards and use your gift cards on things like press on nails, coffee for yourself, you know, do something for you. And then also, I'm doing that 30 day walk-in challenge. I really think you guys should join me. If you're gonna join me, I want you to comment down below, walk, and let's get started. No matter what day it is, start it on a Monday. That's what I did. It is Wednesday. I decided I was gonna start my 30 days on a Monday, start it off strong instead of starting in like the middle of a week or like a Sunday. I always recommend anytime you're starting to do something new or if you're trying to um, commit to something, starting at the beginning of the week works so much better versus starting at like the middle of the or the end. So comment down below, walk, if you are going to join me in this challenge. I just want to inspire you guys and hopefully it will get you motivated to get up and walk. And remember, you can start off small, even if it's just 30 minutes, walking outside around your neighborhood. If you have a treadmill, walking on your treadmill for 30 minutes, just take that time for yourself. It's gonna do so good for your body, your mental health, your weight. If you're trying to lose weight, walking is a very good form of weight loss and it's gonna just really help you with your heart health and all of that. So join me in the challenge, we can do this, we're strong. I feel like we lose so much of ourselves when we are mothers and just life gets so busy. Take 30 minutes out of your day to do something for you. Just do it. But until the next video, you guys stay beautiful, stay blessed, and don't forget how strong and powerful you are. Bye.